Kenya is perhaps the most important entry point for China into Eastern African region, given her location as well as the port of Mombasa. The region forms part of China's One Belt, One Road initiative comprising the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road, a plan to connect regional waterways. According to McKinsey, more than 60 countries with a combined GDP of $21 trillion are included in the master plan. The Asian giant has further gone to invest in key infrastructure projects such as roads, railways and energy generation worth more than 650 billion shillings over the last four years in Kenya. For a long time, the biggest exports to China is our raw products, tea, coffee. Now we are in, uh, trying to take them to get a bit romantic and buy our flowers so that uh, we can export. And you can imagine, again, numbers don't lie. 1.6 billion people, if they decided to take our coffee or our tea, my friend, the tea and coffee manufacturers will not be able to cope, yes? Last year, Kenya exported goods worth 11.9 billion shillings to China and in turn imported 337.5 billion shillings worth of products from the Asian country. And as 450 Chinese exhibitors converge in Nairobi at the end of this month, it will be a chance for local manufacturers to exchange skills as well as seal business to business deals. We've had from the last event, we had 15 Chinese companies that have set up shop here. We had um, a few Chinese investors uh, that invested in industrial zones and agricult agricultural companies here. So uh, obviously we want to try and do more of that. We're going to be bringing more investors from China here. So hopefully the visitors that can come can have that face-to-face -face interaction with them, tell them about their businesses and see how, if they can get any more uh, support. The Expo will also grant consumers a first-hand contact with manufacturers, saving them travel and logistics cost. Then you have the other, the other companies who, who would love to go and do business with foreign companies, whether they are from China or somewhere. Um, but they, they face financial issues to pay all the trip there. Machinery, furniture, electronics and textiles are among products to be showcased during the three-day China Trade Week. Ronaldo Willy, News of Business.